Note, the following video depicts a specific configuration of the notebook. The same removal and replacement procedures apply to all configurations of the notebook. Removal. On the bottom of the notebook, slide the battery release latch, identified with a battery icon, to the release position. Slide the battery out of the battery bay. Replacement. On the bottom of the notebook, slide the bottom cover release latch, identified with a bottom cover icon, to the release position to partially eject the bottom cover. Lift the bottom cover out of the accessory bay and remove. Replace. Loosen the three captive P1 Phillips head screws identified with keyboard icons that secure the keyboard to the base enclosure. Place the notebook on its side and open the display panel. While supporting the notebook, insert a tool into the opening of the battery bay and gently press in to partially release the keyboard from the top cover. Turn the notebook right side up. Lift the rear edge of the keyboard and rotate the keyboard toward the front of the notebook until you have access to the point stick ribbon cable and ZIF connector. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the point stick ZIF connector and disconnect the point stick ribbon cable from the system board. Caution. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the keyboard from the base enclosure. Replacement Position the keyboard on the notebook so that you have access to the keyboard ribbon cable and ZIF connector. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the point stick ribbon cable into the point stick ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Rotate the keyboard towards the center of the notebook and insert the tabs on the front of the keyboard into the slots on the top cover. Lower the keyboard into position and press along the edges of the keyboard to secure it to the top cover. Close the display panel and turn the notebook upside down. Tighten the three captive P1 Phillips head screws identified with keyboard icons that secure the keyboard to the base enclosure. Align the edges of the bottom cover with the edges of the accessory bay and place the bottom cover into position. Slide the bottom cover toward the rear of the notebook until it is properly seated and the bottom cover release latch clicks. Slide the bottom cover release latch identified with a bottom cover icon to the locked position to secure the bottom cover in the accessory bay. Caution! Any red visible under the bottom cover release latch indicates that the bottom cover is not securely locked in the accessory bay. This may allow the bottom cover to slide out inadvertently. Caution! To avoid damaging the battery locking mechanism, be sure that the battery release latch is in the unlocked position. Slide the battery into the battery bay until it is properly seated and the battery release latch clicks. Slide the battery release latch, identified with a battery icon, to the locked position to secure the